Okay, excuse my setup here, but I couldn't find my holder for my phone. So I just propped it up. And I wanted to show you something quickly here. I'm not going to get too in depth with it, but for anybody who likes to use their own files, you can use them in almost any app that has files loaded into it. You just have to know where to go on your phone. So in my instance, this one crashes a lot, but it's one of the best ones for me. So in this instance, I'm going to use an app called Spotted Ghosts, and it has its own files with Turkish, um, Swedish, uh, some English files, and, and they're all just MP3s or waves. You just have to find them in, in the folders. So in my case, I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to look for these phone, phone 1 and phone 2 files. Now I've already gone ahead and deleted all the files out of them that this app has. And I'm going to load my own into it. Now I have probably about 300,000 files, audio files, from books. Now, don't use it for misleading people like like fucking Huff does and people like that. Don't be don't be loading them with shit that you know you can manipulate, you know. Just um show you how to do this. Now this one I've already loaded. So I've already got my own files on my phone that I usually call, you know, 2017, 18, 19, 20 spirit files, whatever I've done over the years and I just name them. And there's usually 20 to 30,000 files in each. So I went ahead and I deleted everything out of phone one and I added all my own files. And there's probably 20, 30,000 files right there. And now I can do that into phone one and phone two as well, which I will do. And then I just start the app and it's reading my files instead of theirs. It's the same thing you do with the Vox box. You can just do it with any app. Any app that that has a file that, that makes a folder on your phone that it reads from. You can delete those files and put your own into, and that app becomes yours. Um, I can even do it with the cultist box, and, and, and I have. It's not supposed to do it, but all my files are in it. You, you can do it with anything and everything. And i got to answer that because I didn't work. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to add to that. Um, most of these apps that you get that have their own folders, there's only ever about 300 to maybe 500 files in each app. And while that's probably all you need for most instances, as time goes on, you get a little greedy and you want more. You always want to. You always want to play around. You always want to make an app better. You want to make a box better. You, you, you're always looking for something better when it comes to communicating, and this is a good way to do it because I don't have to know or hire anybody to make my own app now. I can just break apart whatever whatever is there that offers me those files. You just have to make sure that when you're loading your files in that they're either using mp3, mp4, there's some that use other I just look for mp3 or mp4 because it's the easiest and that's what I usually save my files as is an mp3 and it's easy to convert mp3 to mp4 if needed um, if you do it properly, you do it right I mean I can have up to man 50,000 files and it won't even take up 800 megabytes that's pretty good um, depending on how you save those files and how, you know, how quick of a uh, millisecond you're using, you know, you keep them, you keep them all under one second. I mean, even less than half a second. You, you just keep them small, and you can have thousands and thousands of files in there, and you're not even going to eat a gig of data on your phone or on your card. Okay, so have fun doing that. I, I just did it with a couple apps this morning, and I'm gonna give it a test here and see what we get. Okay, so here is a app called Voxbox, strangely enough, and it's not the Voxbox that we all know of, but it has files, it has folders on my phone that I can throw my own 
It's an app, yes. See? I threw um, my own files into one of the two folders, so it's got their files and mine now. So the stuff where you hear a little longer response, a little longer talking on the files, those are theirs. Mine are much, much shorter. Mine are only anywhere from 150 to 250 milliseconds. There seem to be a little longer, maybe in the 400 range. And this is a very simple app. It's just a, a volume. It has a REM and an ambient sensor, which I can turn on or turn off. So, we're using an app downloaded from the Play Store with a mixture of their files and my files. If Spirit is here and you guys can help me out, Please come through and tell me that it's working. How many guides are present? You hear my files popping through there? <laughs> They're much shorter. They're much quicker. Helping? Who's helping? Can you turn on the amber light so that I know that I'm communicating? Spirit is? Spirits, I hear spirits. Spirits, lots of spirits. Yeah, spirits. Do you prefer this clean audio over the radio scans? Yes or no? It's easy. So I'm pretty much just about shut down here. There's I mean, I've got people calling in for, for stupid stuff that I just don't want to do the job for. I mean, if I was busy, I would make time for it because that's my, my little extra spending cash. But if they're just going to give me a little bit of extra spending cash and, and no big jobs, I don't care. I'd rather just try get the unemployment for now, which is what I'm trying to do. If I can't make, if I can't make good money on a job, I don't, I don't want it. My ears aren't tuned to it because I'm hearing two different things, my files and theirs. So I'm going to stop for now. We'll see what we get. If it were all my files, it'd be a little easier. So let me pause this. Love the 589, but it does stop. Every once in a while, it'll stop. But... It's, it's a great little radio, and even when it's not plugged in, here, it's actually probably better not plugged into a box, because the depth of it, the sound of the bass, is so deep. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, I'm holding the camera. But it's so deep, the bass is so nice and low, that it, that static, it's there, but it's, it's just... In the background, you know, it, it makes it sound really nice, and it it'll help you out in your communication for those times that you want the static. Me, I don't want it so much all the time, but I don't mind it when it's like this. I don't mind it so much in the RCA either because it's such a clean, it's such a clean sweep. But when I'm using my apps and stuff, I don't want any of that shit in there. Who's with me now? Who's still with me? Who tested that app with me? Is anybody who was testing that app with me still here? What do you think about that app? Was it good? Yes or no? And the uh, antenna for this broke, so I've got an FM, well, I've got a wire, I should say. It's a, it's a thick 
14 gauge copper wire going. <laughs> Just saying that <laughs> and then holding on to it. <laughs> Wrap it around my fucking head. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Who likes to wrap copper wires around their body? Huh. All right, I won't pick. So that's that. Um, just wanted to quickly show you how to use those apps, how to make them a little bit more personalized for you to use. It's pretty simple to do. You know, just get inside your phone, get one of those those folder apps, those those registry apps, whatever they're called, and start going through your files, your folders. You'll usually those folders are named by the app or the maker. And you just get inside of them and you see if there's any banks. If they're in there, delete them and put your own in there. Just make sure you look at the files, MP3, MP4. And there's another file that I, I'm unaware of that didn't work when I tried popping them in there, but I like it to be simple and easy, so MP4 or MP3s.